Okay guys, this is my early 1990s, I believe, Modulus Jazz Bass. It has uh, Aguilar pickups, Leo Kwan Badass 2 bridge, volume, blend, um, bass and treble controls. Has a walnut top, I'm pretty sure. In the back is probably alder, just judging by it. Um, Obviously, carbon graphite neck, that's what Modulus was noted for. And um, coming through here, this video, it does have a truss rod. And believe it or not, even graphite necks um, need an adjustment. And they should have had adjustment when they were first made, but I guess they didn't know it back then. But, you know, you change strings, it's going to put a little pressure against whatever it is. And you make a heavier gauge string or a lighter gauge string, it's going to the Boeing unless it's a big chunk of steel but either way this is the base I'm gonna go around the edge here give you a chance to see all, all of it flip her upside like this now what I got it on is a case but that's not the case for this base I just put that up here so I could uh, make this little video without it hitting the tailgate of the truck so I'll go around here, show you all that, move along here so you can see that there's no chips or pings or dings in the graphite neck. And there we go, back to square one. Also I'll show you the frets here, frets look really good, they're crowned like they are to be. I like this base, but whenever the day comes I sell it, it will be probably because I'm just going to go back to passive jazz basses and not have a an active one this one's active nine volt battery on the back side and um it's a great bass it plays great that's why i bought it usually if they don't feel good and sound good i don't buy them but for what i'm doing right now this bass really doesn't fit the music that i'm playing other than that there you go guys have a good one